What up, Block Fam? What up, Block Fam? Wrong way. Oh, hey, Block Fam. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another build off episode. We are building off a brand new 2024 Harley Davidson Road Glide against Chrissy Originals. He's building off a street glide. If you guys wanna see his episodes, go check out his content over at Chrissy Originals. In continuing with the build, today we're focusing on wheels and tires. The stock wheels actually look pretty nice on here, but we have a very, very special set of wheels and tires that we're throwing on this thing. It kind of continues with the theme and they are made by, as you guys can see the box here, Reinhardt Racing. One of the big sponsors for this build is JMP Cycles, so we have to throw a huge shout out to them. Throw, throw a huge shout out? No. We have to give them a big yeah, thanks. A very big thanks. One of the sponsors for today's video is JMP Cycles, and we definitely want to give them a very big thank you. Let's check them out. Link in the description below. So they helped us out with a ton of parts. One of them being these Reinhardt Racing Wheels. How should we unbox them? Should we do like a little one-two? One-inch punch. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. You know, that was kind of impressive, and that is kind of cool, but it's too early. I'm going to use my coffee cup. Much better. Chip and fiber wheels or cabron fiber. Five spoke because you guys know I do be loving me my five spokes. Went with five spoke on Goldzilla. This is my first time seeing them in person. Manufactured by BST and Reinhardt. It looks super clean. They look really nice. And you guys can see because with our recent experience in manufacturing our own carbon fiber, these are very meaty. I'm a big fan. It's a shame that we're gonna put paint on them. You wanna go over that back one? That back one, you look, you look at me. So here's the back one. It's pretty bad. We are going to weigh these assembled. Assemble! <laughs> right. Oh, this. Like that. We're gonna. The carbon fiber man, man, man. We're gonna, man, man. We're gonna weigh it with the spacer, the bearings, the tire mounted. We probably should do it with the rotors and pulling. All right, so we're gonna do that comparison of stock wheel with rotor and all that stuff on it, like the hub. But I do wanna see what these weigh as is. Nine pound, 13.7 ounces. 11 pound, 14.9 ounces. There is a myth out there that lighter weight wheels equals less rotating mass equals more horsepower. So In since- theory, that should be absolutely correct. Right. Since we do have the stock numbers on the current wheel and tire setup, we're gonna switch over to these and we're gonna put it back on the dyno and we're gonna see if that actually does net us more horsepower or torque basically more power, less weight. Also real quick, just to go over everything that this comes with, if you guys are interested in purchasing, we are an authorized dealer for these wheels. With the rear, it does come with an inner spacer, comes with destructions. We're gonna be pairing these wheels with some brakes from Brake Tech, and that is facilitated by Krauss. So Krauss is another huge sponsor of this build. Greatly, greatly appreciate you guys over at Krauss. And thank you to Brake Tech as well for helping us out and really, really upping this build. So let's go ahead and open this real quick. You guys will uh, be able to see what brakes we're going with. Boring razor blade unboxing. <laughs> Damn, those look good. Look at the... Uh... Damn, that does look sick. All right. So floating rotors. So in this, we have uh, three rotors. Uh, they are called the Axis Cobra. So we got a 310 mil and two 330 mil. So these come highly recommended. I guess Brake Tech has a lot of experience in the sport bike world. So these should put down some serious stopping power, which we are absolutely gonna need for this bike. It's gonna be a monster. Crucy's doing turbocharging. So we're gonna do something kind of on the opposite end. Sounds like an airplane. You know what complements this carbon fiber? Our carbon fiber. Shameless plug, if you guys aren't aware, we do have our own carbon fiber for the new models. Some of it does fit the later models as well uh, for touring. Check it out, blockheadmotor.com. Go to the nav, select shop, go to carbon fiber. Scoop some up. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and assemble these. So I'm gonna hand it over to the 27 year master nah, technician. He's not gonna assemble. Chris I'm sick wheel. wide glide. <laughs> carbon fiber wheels, I don't wanna mess them up. So my experience with wheel and tire machine isn't enough for something of this caliber. After that, we'll get it on the dyno and we'll see if it gives us more horsepower. All right, I'm taking it over from here. Let's 
All right, guys, so we got the rear wheel off. So this is the OEM rear wheel, uh, everything, not the cushion in it. So it's gonna be a heads up comparison to whenever we put the carbon one on. For those of you that don't know what the cushion is, as he referred to it, it's this. It's the rubber isolator, and this is the um, pulley. We're not gonna weigh it with the pulley or the rubber isolator or cush in it. We're leaving that dank cush off of this one. <laughs> so whenever we weigh the new one, it's gonna be the exact same heads up. That is 43 pounds, nine ounces. 44 pounds. All right, so we're gonna round that up. Make the math easy. 44 pounds. Uh, how many cheeseburgers is that? Like if you're talking quarter pounders, that's this many cheeseburgers. Doesn't do the math on that. <laughs> Alright guys, so for tire selection, we have decided to go with the Avon Cobras. So the Cobra Chrome, you're pretty cool because they got like Cobras on them. That's the only reason I like them. Why did we go with that tire? Because it's the stickiest of the icky. <laughs> They're incredibly sticky. They are a softer rubber though, so they do wear out uh, a little bit faster than like a normal road, like touring long length tire. With the amount of power that we're going to be putting on this bike, we need something to actually grip. So this is our selection every single time. One of the best tires we've used. All right, so I got the new wheel set up. Let's go ahead and measure this thing up. 34.38, which is a weight savings of chip and fiber overload. It ain't gonna put itself in. That's right, Chris. <laughs> so today we're gonna paint paint some bushes. We're gonna put some little bushes here down on the bottom. So then over here we're gonna add to those bushes and then we're gonna make some happy trees up here. We've already built ourselves a mountain. And that's right, these are happy trees. And nothing goes wrong with our happy trees. So the carbon fiber wheel is on. We're filming like three episodes at the same time right now. So in order to not like double, triple the work, we do need to change up some of the braking, which requires a different swing arm. So we're gonna go ahead, switch over to the swing arm episode, which you guys should see after this wheel and tire episode. And then we will show you that dedicated install for the Speed Dealers swing arm as well. Also, we have a Trask chain drive conversion coming in. I should be here in the next few days and we're gonna do a dedicated episode on that as well. So you guys will see, we'll switch from belt to chain. Wow. Wow. Bet you for Mike. So we got swing arm on, that's a separate episode if you guys wanna see that one. Should be out after the wheel one. Since we got swing arm on now, Chris is gonna go ahead, pick back up, getting the carbon wheel on. After that, we should be able to do some dyno run stuff so we can see if that drop in weight on the wheel, less rotating mass is gonna give us more power. One of the other differences you guys are gonna see is suspension. So we're also recording a suspension episode while doing all this. That's gonna be a separate episode. We are upgrading the front and rear suspension to Olean's in collaboration with Kraus. So big shout out. Thanks once again to Kraus. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you've got that bell notification on so it sends you notifications of whenever we upload those episodes as well. So I was about to go over numbers, but between the three of us here, there was some question brought up. And Justin, of all people, brought up the, uh, a good question, in my opinion. He said, well, you changed the swing arm and the suspension, and you, know, you changed other things. Is that going to affect it? No. No. But because he presented the question, I figured, 
it lets answer it for you by doing it. So at this point, I'm gonna waste the rest of my day again, and I'm gonna change the wheel back to the other wheel with the swing arm and with the suspension, just so that Justin, if you wanna show yourself smiling behind the camera, just, <laughs> just so he can be satiated on this answer. And we can too, and then we can all put it to bed. Everyone go follow Chris, cause yes, I feel bad making him put the stock wheel back on. It was just a question I had. Why not have the consistency? I know it's workload for him, but make sure you guys follow him. Sick wide glide. So, and just <laughs> for those of you that are wondering, like, well, why didn't you do that the first time? We're actually building this bike to be done. We were intending on just completing the ass end, basically, and comparing. But again, the question was presented, and it is a good question, and it's hard to just tell someone, no, it's not gonna make a difference. So, let's just do it. Let's do it, let's look at it, and then we'll know. waiting for it, does carbon wheel give you more power? Not exactly. The answer to that is yes, but only by one or two. As Justin pops this on the screen, now these are the best two poles with both setups. Best pole with the carbon wheel, we touched 153.47 torque and 152.34 horsepower. That's a great number, by the way. Absolutely great. And that's only in fourth. I'm sure in sixth gear, we're gonna see much better numbers. We just can't make a full pole as of yet. Now, with the stock wheel, our best pull, we saw 151.61, so that's about a foot pound behind. And then horsepower, 151.01 versus 152.34, even 152.55. Those are very, very minute numbers. Nothing you're gonna feel. A carbon wheel is really, truly worth one-tenth of one horsepower at 10,000 RPMs. They do help with weight, which is one of those things we're not seeing on the dyno. But in terms of cost per dollar for weight savings converted to horsepower, it's not the most cost effective spend, if you will. Street, average street bike. The best bang for your buck, weight and power wise, 100% the exhaust. You're losing like 30 pounds, you're freeing up a lot more of that restriction. The best bang for your buck in terms of dropping weight and adding horsepower and torque. But the carbon fiber wheels, they look great. Definitely less rotational mass. If we look at this graph again, uh, starting at about 3000, that's kind of where you start to see the difference between carbon fiber and non-carbon fiber. I think the spread there, if I zoomed in at best, is about three. I mean, a dyno is, is a measuring tool. So it's gonna show you like the power that it's putting to the wheel. But what you're not seeing is everything under the lines. So I'm curious if there's a big difference in that before and after, you know, in that that seat dyno essentially, you know, like how it feels, your butt dyno. If there's a, a noticeable change in spinning up that, you know, less weight, can you actually notice a difference? That'll be a future episode that we'll do. This is one of those things I've been super curious about. Uh, because a lot of people talk about it in the industry and you know one of those things we try to do with having a dyno here in house is you know kind of bringing back the curtain on these things and so there you go uh, proof right there horsepower science completed with the carbon fiber wheel i think it looks sick and it does give you a little bit of extra oomph big thanks to jnp cycles for helping us out with this episode this build is coming together little by little it is our 2024 harley davidson road glide build off against Crucy originals big thanks to harley davidson as well for uh the collaboration and uh, all the rest of the sponsors we got a ton of them in here and we uh honestly couldn't be doing it without you guys couldn't be doing it without you viewers out there watching as well quick side note if y'all could do me a huge favor and hit the like button so as of us recording this today, we are two days away from getting hit by Hurricane Milton. So we're literally here at the shop getting this film so that we can get this out by Friday for you guys. Whenever y'all see this, because we're going to schedule it for Friday because we normally do Friday uploads, all of us here, so Justin, myself, Chris, we are probably uh, all not going to have power 
That is... I'm supposed to get married on Saturday. Yeah, he's literally supposed to get married this weekend. It's gonna hit Florida hard. It's gonna be really, really difficult for a lot of people. One of the things that happens with these natural disasters and these storms is that the media will hype the shit out of it before it happens and it's like shock value right they get a lot of people watching and seeing what's going to happen but then whenever the storm hits all of that coverage goes away and that sucks because that's whenever florida or like wherever gets hit needs it the most a lot of people get displaced from their houses it's insane the red cross has to come in usually like national guard a lot of people evacuating right now so in order to like for us to like try to do our part to give back to this state of florida that we love and live in we're doing a portion of every purchase from our website we are going to be donating to the american red cross and helps with damage relief for hurricane helene and hurricane milton if you guys go on our website you want to scoop up a bagger exhaust which you see here and have heard here you can scoop one of those we've got everything available that's going on this bike available on our website you can get a soft tail exhaust you can get carbon fiber you can get seats you can get handlebars risers anything you want a portion of everything that we make for from this month we're going to donate to the red cross for those hurricane relief efforts so thank you guys so much if you buy anything t-shirts hats whatever it may be we greatly appreciate it we're going to go grab the sandbags that we have outside we're going to place them along the doors so hopefully we can keep this place from flooding we actually need to get some of these bikes up on the lifts and lift them up just in case it does flood we're going to go home prep, hunker down, fill our bathtubs with water, and uh, go from there. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, like. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, ride safe. Florida, stay safe. And uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.